careful not to burn the velvet. <clears throat> anyway, hello everyone and welcome. Christmas is almost here and I thought that it would be pleasant to sew together pretty gift bags made out of fabric scraps from previous sewing projects. In order to surprise our friends and family with lovely handmade creations, of course, and also to lighten up our cluttered drawers. These little fabric gift bags are really easy and quick to sew since I decided, for once, not to add any lining. This way we will be able to save time and fabric. That being said, there is no need to rush and I count on you to make beautiful gift bags with nice and clean finishes that will make you blush with pride only. Alright, let's start with the pattern. Let's say you want to gift sewing books. I grabbed these on my bookshelf, but since it is in French, I linked down below some great options for English readers, as well as all the sewing tools and supplies we will be using in this tutorial. First step, figuring out the width of the bag. We will start by measuring the width of our gift, in my case 22 cm, and then adding the thickness of the gift, in my case, 6 cm. We have 22 plus 6 equals 28 cm for the width of the bag. Second step, figuring out the length of the bag. We will start by measuring the length of our gift, in my case 28 cm. Then we add the thickness of the gift, it hasn't changed, still 6 cm for me. We also add about half of the width of our gift since the bag will be tied up here with a pretty string. And finally, we add the desired length of the covers. I decided to be generous, 17 cm. In order to determine this last measurement, try to visualize the covers on top of your gift. This will allow you to choose a length that is suitable and harmonious. Final bill 28 plus 6 plus 11 plus 17 equals 62. Therefore, we have 62 centimeters for the length of the bag in my example. Voila, you have determined the final measurements of your gift bag once it is sewn. For me, 28 by 62. Now let's add some extra centimeters all around for the sewing allowance, the hem, and to let the gift breathe in peace a little. That's what we call the ease. Let's say two centimeters for today. Therefore, we have 28 plus two times two centimeters, two on each side. That's 28 plus four equals 32 centimeters. And for the length, we have 62 plus 2 times 2 centimeters, 2 on each side. So we have 62 plus 4 equals 66 centimeters. And of course, since our bags have two sides, the top and the bottom, we will need to cut our rectangle two times. I decided to go with two separate pieces in this tutorial, the top and the bottom, to easily use up small fabric scraps and to have a chance to mix and match patterns and colors to create beautiful and creative gift bags. Of course, you can decide to cut your pattern in a single piece of fabric instead. It can be a long piece of fabric that is the result of both the top and the bottom joined up together lengthwise with, of course, our sewing allowance all around. In this case, you just need to cut your piece once and to fold it in half here before sewing it. It can also be a larger piece of fabric, the top and the bottom joined up together widthwise, with again our sewing allowance added all around. In that case as well, the piece needs to be cut once only and to be folded here before being sewn. Alright, today I decided to work with what's left of the pair of curtains that I shortened for a client. He didn't want to keep the remaining scraps and so they won't be lost for everyone. I truly invite you to have a look at what's hiding in your drawers and cupboards to recycle it instead of running to the store and buying new fabric. And also, don't be surprised, as usual I will make a small scaled template, it's easier for me to film. So here are my two tiny rectangles neatly cut out and if you wish to add a little ornament or decoration, it is time to do so and to unleash your creativity. 
lace, pretty ribbons, pearls, textile ink, pin tucks, embroidery, appliques and so on. All is fair and every taste is allowed. You can even fully customize your fabric thanks to textile markers. And by the way, that's a wonderful activity to do with young children when they are old enough, of course, not to drink the ink of the markers. And I truly speak from personal experience here. Now, so you know, these markers work best on cotton fabrics with a light color shade, such as muslin fabric, for instance. All right, we'll start by positioning our rectangles one on top of the other, right sides together, and pinning them. At one centimeter from the edge, we will make a row of straight stitches as steadily as possible and without forgetting to reinforce the start and the end of the seam with a few back and forth stitches. The top of the bag is left opened, of course, and beware, if you added a decoration to your fabric, make sure not to sew your gift bag upside down. You could, if that's your wish, insert right now a ribbon in the seam on one side in order to have it attached to your bag. Personally, I prefer to add it at the end to make sure it's perfectly placed. When you reach the end of the length, lift your presser foot up and pivot your fabric to go on sewing. We are going to cut out the corners of our bag so as to be able to properly turn it inside out later on. Also, we need to finish the row edges off with a little zigzag stitch or with a serger if you own one. That will prevent your fabric from fraying and as you can see, it was much needed for me. Voila, we just started, yet we are almost done. A little hem and that will be it. So, turn the edge of your fabric once, at one centimeter. You can check that with a sewing gauge and if you wish, press the fold with your iron. Then, repeat this operation a second time. We are going to make a row of straight stitches at about one to two millimeters from the folded edge. I am going to free up the arm of this modest little machine, which by the way is perfect for beginners, and insert our gift bag here. Now the little groove on the presser foot will be useful as a guide. I am going to align it perfectly with the seam I want to create. Before I finish sewing all the way round, I am going to cut the starting threads, which will prevent the whole nasty ugly threads knots situation when I will overlap my seam. A little back and forth stitching and our sewing is done. Now I don't mean to be a bore or a headache, but I'd love to invite you to be as precise and neat as possible to produce a perfectly straight and even hem. If you are happy with your work, you can then turn your gift bag inside out and before judging the result, don't forget to press it with passion. And voila, you can now congratulate yourself and add a final touch with a ribbon of your liking. If the gift you are wrapping is as flat as mine, your fabric gift bag will preserve this elegant and thin aspect. On the contrary, if your gift is quite thick, you might have an unpleasant surprise, but do not panic. I will show you at once in the last part of this video how to deal with the excess fabric that will inevitably be created on the bottom of the bag. For you to have a better understanding of what I am speaking about, here is another fabric gift bag with perfume inside. These unsightly little ears would of course be folded and discreetly taped on the bottom if it were a traditional gift paper. Here is how we are going to proceed. We are going to measure the length of these ugly outgrowths and turn our gift bag outside out. Now align one of the side seam on top of the bottom seam in order to recreate a little ear, pin it and mark the measurements we just obtained, but this time, of course, on the inside of the bag. Now, position your ruler at the mark, making sure it is making a 90 degree angle with the seam. That's really important. We just need to sew our little ear quickly but neatly, following our line as a guide, and to cut the excess fabric at about 5 to 6 millimeters from the seam. You can also make a little zigzag stitch to prevent the fabric edge from fraying. 
and you are done. Well, don't forget, of course, that you have two years. <laughs> Besides, if everything went well, as you turn your bag inside out again, you might find that you don't have any anymore, which is perfect. Press and press again, and you can insert your gift back in his little bag. A pretty fabric gift bag that fits perfectly and that reflects your own taste and creativity. By the way, if you are still looking for handmade gift ideas, I linked down below for you my video 10 gifts ideas to sew yourself. So tell me in the comments, what are you going to sew this Christmas for your friends and family? And what are you going to leave under the tree to properly bribe our lovely Santa Claus? Bye bye! A bientôt!